the best trainer in the game. Literally, we're pretty much the only ones in here every single day. Amazing day, and today you read the title. The boys are boxing. Yes, sir. Yo, on top now, got a gang all round. On top now, when I came from the ground. On top now, and a fam all proud. Can't you guys saw last vlog. You saw that me and Ricky were trying to get in a boxing match, specifically this boxing match right here, the TikTok versus YouTubers Ooh. boxing match. And just the other day, we got a text from them. Pretty much they said, yo boys, you got 10 days to get in the best shape of your life, then fly out to LA, and you're gonna fight three times in one night. Whoever does the best is getting on the main card. There's no, almost no details about anything, They bro. literally gave us 10 days notice that we're fighting three times in one night. Like, what? But we wanna give a big time shout out to you guys, because without you guys spamming and going so hard, Texting that number, we would not be in this, and you guys gave us this opportunity, so we're not gonna let you guys down. We can't let you guys down. We don't even know where we're fighting. We don't even know who we're fighting. All we know is that we're fighting two to three times in one night. We've never really fought before, so this is gonna be interesting. Don't know if we're facing YouTubers there, or TikTokers, or actual people in the box. Literally have no, no idea, idea, but we're taking you guys along the journey. This is gonna be like a little day in the life of what the buds have been up to, because we haven't been posting much, because literally we've been trying to focus in on this, because whoever does the best this Saturday gets to fight in the main event. So today, me and Ricky, we're about to head to the boxing gym. About to put in some work, boy. You guys gonna see what it's like behind the scenes, what we've been doing every single day behind oh, the yeah. scenes. So you're I'm done, baby. I'm done slooping around. I'm done. You know what I'm done with? I'm done with these ticked out. It's time to knock them out, boy. This is where the boys train. UFC gym Clearwater. I know we're boxing. But UFC mentality is on a different level. The best trainer in the game. One-on-one -on -one training with our boy Roberto. You guys are about to meet him. We also got our boy Evan Cody behind the camera. Crispiest filmer in the game. This is our boy Roberto right here. How are you? Legend. Thank you. No, I gotta go right now. And I go hard till the lights go out. Gotta go hard, gotta let them know now. Gotta go yard, gotta get a first down. Gotta go yard, I ain't talking about a bag. Gotta go yard, I ain't talking about a brand. Trying to get a black card and give it to the fan. Gotta go hard till they know who I am. Damn. Move out of the way, got a team coming through. Roll squad deep, I don't know who's you. Y'all just sheep, I don't know who's who. Y'all just sleep, y'all know what to do. Brody, he to go and I am one too. I might hit the three with it. And one two, and I got some fans and they gon' stay true. And I got some bands and they all looking blue. Woo! I didn't wanna do it, but I did it. Got a big dream, so I gotta go get it. I don't care about a critic, I just got them all living. Got a big dream, so I gotta go live it. After that first fight, um, since you're probably gonna have two or three in a day, you need to be drinking a lot of water, getting your mind right, and breathing consistently and getting loose. Don't get done and lay down. Get what I hate, but I'm back in my bag. Me and my bro, yeah, we back on the track. Me and my bro put the oh, man. And you don't stop. All right, boys. So we've been training. The rounds in LA are apparently going to be one minute rounds. So those rounds are short. So basically, what Roberto is saying is go in there and go mentally insane. Literally, just go. And overwhelm them. Overwhelm them to the point where they're just in there like, yo, what is happening? I don't even want to be in here with these two Asian boys. How was it? They're pretty tiring, man. I ain't gonna lie. But TikTokers, man, they are ready, man. Roll squad deep, I don't know who is you. Remember, you are tired, you're not exhausted. Those are two different things. You are tired, you are not exhausted. Yes, go. We didn't come to take part, we came to take over. When you go in and you come forward, and you guys are going to these tryouts, they should have already picked you. So you're going in there with a the mindset knowing, you guys should have already picked me, now I'm gonna make it undeniable that you pick me. Go in there, Let's go. take care of business. Yes so, sir! Go. I'm talking about. We'll see you guys in LA, boys. Shout out to the best coach in the game right here. Thank you, thank you. It's like real easy when you have Ferraris. When you're working with people that are this talented, it's super easy. Woo! 
Let's go, baby. Let's go. Another day of training down. They gave us no notice, so we put in as much work as we possibly could in the shortest amount of time. That hopefully it's gonna be enough, you know what I mean? I know, man. But the good part about this is they gave everyone the same notice, so you gotta think. Everyone didn't know that they were fighting until literally like three days ago. And after a good workout, you gotta recover with some grub. After a nice workout to have a nice little protein shake recover and one hit break. What, what are you eating? Tell the people what you're eating, sir. Eating nice little grilled salmon with a little potatoes. You gotta stay healthy because at the end of the day, you gotta do what your opponents aren't doing. You think all those other TikTokers, they're probably hitting some renegades, maybe eating a little Sour Patch Kids. Probably some Sour Patch Kids, some Saddle Ranch, some Boa Steakhouse. Come on now, man. You gotta be eating healthy. I got the sweet potato. I got the salmon. I got the other potato. I mean, we, we only had 10 days, so we gotta go as hard as we can for the 10 days. After Ricky is done eating, tell him what you're doing. What are you doing? I'm going to get a nice little massage, a nice little recovery. Rest and recovery is just as important as training. Your muscles need recovery Ooh. and relaxation. What muscles? Just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But for real, one hit, he's about to get a massage. Key to not be sore when we're out there fighting in the ring. Because any bit of soreness, is just going to slow you down. You're going to be thinking about it. And also, it's not all about being the biggest and looking like you're the strongest. Look at these two people on paper. One of them looks like a chubby dude, the other one looks like an athletic beast. Guess who won? The chubby dude. Anthony Ruiz knocked him out. So at the end of the day, it's not it's not all about exactly. looking the hot, it's about being the hot. All right, while Ricky's getting a massage, your boy, I'm gonna do a little bit of shadow boxing, just get used to doing the movements. So when I'm in the fight, I'm not thinking about any of this, it just comes naturally. Spotlight, that's all my saw time. These long drives, these hot nights, they paid off. That's real life, that's real life. Just got back home from the massages, your boys feeling nice and loose. I could feel like Conor McGregor up in that ring, boys. Whoa, whoa, but, as a UFC fighter, we're boxing. Bro, I'm going in there with the UFC mentality, though. Even though he... He did lose to Floyd Mayweather. All right, that's, that doesn't matter. All I'm saying is your boy's feeling looser than ever. I'm feeling like a little string bean right now. Boys, we got some savage looking gear. We're gonna look like gladiators coming back. Get open the stuff, man, okay? My goodness. Here we go, here we go. Mm. Oh, shoot. Oh, we, got the, we got the shoes up first, boys. Ooh, okay, let's see the shoes. Let's, let's see, see the shoes, let's see them, let's see them. Ooh, yo, yo. Boys, literally looks like a custom shoe for Ricky. Honestly, I might rock these around town just casually, you know what I'm saying? The cool stuff is right here. Ooh, look at these, bro. We got the white and gold. We got the rope laces. Oh my gosh, if you're not ready for this. Oh. I just threw my back out. No. It's okay though. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, these hit hard. These hit hard. Your boy got the Stormtrooper headgear. We'll put it on, put it on. Oh, snap, boys. How are you feeling in there? I feel like a stinking Stormtrooper. Come on, now. Gotta get give me some, give me some. Oh, bro. Oh, yo, I actually hit his head. It's over for you. Hey. Ow. Dang, bro. Right now. Boom, 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 boom. You gotta get used to it. I'm, I'm getting used to it. Come on, now. Yeah, boom. Get, get no! Gotta try these bad boys on. Let's see what it's gonna feel like when we're in the ring. Never actually put on a pair of boxing shoes in our life. They got the ankle support. You would never break your ankle in there. My foot does not fit! Is it that hard? Yes, bro, it's hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh! Oh! I look like I'm going on the moon. Oh! I mean, what, what's your opinions on him? You know, you go to IBD. He's got the freshest kicks in the game. Just take a look at them, right? Old school, baby. Old school. I think you look like a 1960s go-go dancer, man. You need to play that um, that song. Bruh, ain't nobody know what that is. These boots are made for walking. No. That's just what they'll do. You need to play that in the background, man. Dude, no one knows what you just said. Oh, I'm telling you, man. You Yo, comment down below if you know what he just said. Nancy Sinatra. No idea. These boots are boring. What are you doing? Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh. Did you see that? Oh. oh. I'm afraid. <laughs> Very <laughs> afraid. Time to take these bad boys off.
Bro, they're not coming off. So that's the equipment, boys. We're, we're looking like we're gonna be legends up in there. Now we just gotta take the action. But that's not it. That's just the beginning of our day, man. We're going to the gym later, getting a little cardio workout in. Cause the main thing in boxing, man, is you gotta be in cardio shape. Like you can't just be big and strong cause you'll be able to throw a few punches, but you'll be gassed after a few seconds if you're not in good cardio shape. So getting some work in later at the gym with the boys, a little late night workout was. Then might have to hit the sauna. Key to do everything that your opponent's not doing. You know? Now the boys are at the gym for a little late night set. As you can see outside, it's nighttime, but the work has just begun. We're in here with our boy Evan. What are we gonna be doing today, sir? Some shadow boxing. Gotta some get that speed up. Ooh. Some shadow boxing. We got some weights right here. We're gonna do this little weighted shadow boxing. Get that hand speed faster. I mean, the speed the speed is pretty fast, but it could always get faster. Because watch this. These are five pounds weights. The gloves are only one pound. So once you're like shadow boxing with these, you put those on and you literally become. It's like a little hack. It's just like putting ankle weights on, you know what I mean? They become heavy and then you take them off and you're like, oh, okay. Also breaking in the new shoes I see. The new shoes, gotta break them in. Freaking custom, huh? Custom shoes, boys. A little R right there for Ricky. How to custom make them. Might have to go for a little jog on the treadmill, but we're pretty much we're just doing a little something light because the fight is in a few days and we don't really want to be lifting a lot of weight, getting sore because if we're sore in the ring, we're just gonna be way slower. See what you got, go fast with those. <laughs> Bro, why are, you, why are you boxing me? Yeah, for real. I'm following my target. I've been I've been trained to locate on my target and not let go. Like a heat-seeking missile. Just rotate. <laughs> Bro, what are you on? What well, the weird part is, if these are heat-seeking missiles, they should go straight to the merch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, on top now, got a gang all round. On top now, when I came from the ground. On top now, and a fam all proud. Can't stop now, now I'm way too down. On top now, got a gang all round. On top now, when I came from the ground. On top now, and a fam all proud. Y'all pipe down, y'all way too loud. Forget who the greatest, I'm greatest right now. I'm about to go run a marathon on the treadmill real quick. Bump it up, max incline. Max speed. Max and climb max speed, okay. Because our opponents aren't doing that, right? Here, I used to play basketball. I'm an athlete, man. <laughs> the other people in the ring, they're not ready for this. All right, let's see the speed. He played basketball, but he ain't Nate Robinson, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. He ain't Nate Robinson. Yeah, last time someone said they played basketball. Night out ring. Oh, 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 Mamma oh, mia, the problem oh, child. Max and climb max speed, baby. Oh, so he's actually moving. Let's see this. We ain't at max speed yet. Oh, he's building. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Hoss. Oh my gosh! Oh my what the treadmill? Oh. What the treadmill couldn't keep up with Yo, you? The treadmill couldn't keep up with me, man. That's dangerous, man. When the treadmill too slow for you. Pretty much a day in life, man. About to go home. About to hit the sauna, actually. He wake up tomorrow and the boys fly out tomorrow, boys. <laughs> they call him Ninja Nick. They call me One Hit Rick. We gotta live up to our names, boys. You know what I'm saying? Bro, those those names they didn't come on accident. This ain't random, man. April 10th or whatever. Y'all gonna see. And June 12th wants to make it on the main card. You gotta manifest this. You gotta speak it into existence. Honestly, at the end of the day, whatever God wants us to do, win or lose, there's no losses. It's just gonna be a lesson. But we're going in there for the win, baby. Even a lesson's a W, though. Even a lesson's a W if you look at it that way. We're giving a hundred and ten percent, giving it all we got, and that's all you can do at the end of the day. Give it all you got, and then whatever happens, happens, man. Health benefits. We're flying out tomorrow. What's one piece of advice you want to give us before we leave? One piece of advice before you guys leave: Sting and take these gloves off right now. Go eat a freaking leaf off this stinking tree out there, because any leaf you see is just natural, just health benefits. Okay. Straight to the stinking biceps and to those forearms. Take them off. We're going right now, boys. Take we them off eat. right now. I think our opponents are. Going Going outside and eating leaves at midnight? No, I don't think so. You gotta be mentally stronger than them, physically, mentally. Whatever you do right now, I want you to stick and eat a leaf right off the ground. It has to be green. They're all no. brown though. Oh no, that does not look healthy to me. Oh. This is green enough. Oh, this that's green, green enough. enough. Green enough. You have to let's eat see it. it. Let's see one it. One bite. One okay, bite. one, one bite, Rick. Rules. One bite, Rick. Oh my gosh. Dude, is your bicep growing? Dude, I'm literally. No. Oh my gosh. No one mentally is stronger than me right now. Let's throw point. Throw point. He's locked in. Oh, T T. Oh. And then. Hey, you spat in. it out, bro. You spat it out, bro. You literally see, bro? I was chewing it and it was not disintegrating. Watch. This is the leaf. Ready? Looks the same. Yeah, see? So it's so healthy. I'm getting all the power off of the surface. All right, bro. What are you talking about, bro? And now I just hit the sauna for about 30 minutes. As you can see, your boy is dressed in sweat. 
but this is key for recovery. Get the blood flowing to the okay, muscles okay. so you don't be feeling as sore the next day. And when that fight comes around, this is going to end the video off. Make sure you guys are subscribed with post notifications on so you guys can stay tuned with what is happening next with this boxing thing. Hopefully, me and Ricky can make it all the way to June 12th. That is the plan, YouTube versus TikTokers. It's going to be a journey, and we're taking you guys along with... It's going to be insane. We're giving it everything we can, right, boys? Oh, yeah, man. No matter what happens, we're bringing you guys along this journey. You guys are going to literally be... This is the beginning of, like, a documentary this could be. You never know, bro. You never know where this goes. This is the beginning, and, and it feels like a fresh start. And literally, you guys are witnessing history in the making. We love you guys. And until next time, yee -yee. On top now, got a gang all round. On top now, when I came from the ground. On top now, and a fam all proud. Can't stop now, now I'm way too down. On top now, got a gang all round. On top now, when I came from the ground. On top now, and a fam all proud.